Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 16. Chapter 16. We'll have some nice crinkly paper for you guys to enjoy. Bowls of God's anger. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the seven bowls of anger on the earth. The first angel left and poured out his bowl on the land. Then ugly and painful sores came upon all those who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped the idols. The second angel poured out his bowl onto the sea, and it became blood like that of a dead man, and every living thing in the sea died. The third angel poured out the, his bowl on the river and the spring of water, and they became blood. Then I heard the angel of the water saying, Holy one, you are the one who is and who was. You are right to decide to punish these evil people. They have poured out the blood of your holy people and your prophets. So now you have given them, given them blood to drink as they deserve. And I heard a voice coming from the altar saying, Yes, Lord God Almighty, the way you punish people is the right and fair. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and he was given power to burn the people with fire. They were burned by the great heat, and they cursed the name of God who had control over these disasters. But the people refused to change their hearts and lives and give glory to God. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast and darkness covered its kingdom. People gnawed their tongues because of the pain. They also cursed God of heaven because of their pain and they and they and the sores they had. But they refused to change their hearts and turn away from the evil things they did. The sixth angel poured out the bowl on the great river of Euphrates, so that the water in the river was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east to come. Then I saw three evil spirits that looked like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of false prophet. These evil spirits are the spirits of demons which have powers to do miracles. They go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them together for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. Listen, I will come as thieves come. Happy are those who stay awake and keep their clothes on so that they will not walk around naked and have people see their shame. Then. The evil spirits gather the kings together to the place that is called Armageddon in the Hebrew language. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air. 
Then a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is finished. Then there were flashes of lightning, noises, thunder, and a big earthquake. The worst earthquake that has ever happened since people have been on earth. The great city split into three parts, and the cities of the nations were destroyed. And God remembered the sin of Babylon the great. So he gave that city the cup filled with the wine of his terrible anger. Then every island ran away and mountains disappeared. Giant hailstones, each weighing about a hundred pounds, fell from the sky upon people. People cursed God for the disaster of the hail because this disaster was so terrible. Life Lesson, Revelation 16, 1 through 21. Situation. The seven terrible plagues are poured out on the earth. Much sorrow and trouble awaits those who are not protected from God's judgment. Despite the power of the plagues, people will curse God rather than praise Him. Observation God's terrifying wrath purges the earth of evil. Inspiration. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We don't fear him as a tyrant, but as loving and just father who leads us in wisdom and truth to that, to do what is good for us, what will prolong and preserve our lives. But since God is a just father. We know he will discipline and punish us when we defy him and break his rules. If we break those rules often enough and carelessly enough, he will take our privileges away completely. That is the risk this world faces even now. Peace with God. The peace of God and peace between nations is possible if we repent of our sins, listen to him and believe him, and follow him as servants, followers, brothers, and sisters of the Savior. We are commanded to his allies in the cause of the true and lasting peace that he can bring. We are to expect the coming of Christ at any time, but we are to work as if he were not to come for a thousand years. In the meantime, we are to work for peace and harmony among the nations of the earth and to love our neighbors even as we love ourselves. Application Before the final judgment begins, witness to friends and neighbors about God's offer to eternal life in Christ. Tell them the story of Jesus. Share how God has made a difference in your life. So I feel like we all, it's our duty to share the word of God, share what we know of Jesus, what we know about Jesus. And it's also our duty as Christians 
to behave more like Christ. We're not perfect, but the goal is to aim, aim to be like Christ, not be Christ, but like Christ, like-minded, um, just having good intentions, good, um, be able to talk to others, let them know, and not just say, eh, you know, they're, they'll figure it out. Um, we're supposed to guide people and sh by sharing the word, by helping them look through the scriptures and know what to find. It's, the Bible can be so intimidating and, um, at least it was for me when I started reading the Bible, I just, I, I didn't know where to start. So there might be someone out there that, that could be just craving for, for just some, someone to just show them and teach them. This, um, this channel has been such a blessing for me. I've been able to um, share. I tend to be more an, an introvert. Well, I'm an extroverted introvert, if you know what that means. Um, but when it comes to like sharing the word, and I, I never saw myself as knowledgeable about the Bible. Um, you know, I can't quote off scriptures off the bat. Uh, I'm starting to because I'm learning more of the scriptures and I'm reading the Bible more and more every day. Um, so it is our duty as Christians to just getting to know Jesus a little more. So I want to um, encourage you guys to continue your journey with reading the Bible. However, works for you if it's reading it in this format or you're listening to it i know i tend to love to read as i hear it like i like to like follow it along um it's up to you uh i even bought the bible the coloring bible so you can actually make notes make drawings it's a form, it's a way to keep learning the scriptures and the scripture just keeps your heart open and it keeps your your thoughts positive. It's, it's what we need uh, instead of the news and the craziness. Yes, we want to stay on top of what's happening in the world, but um, the moment that negativity fills our mind, all that cre just creates anxiousness and it just it becomes this it gets just bigger and bigger and bigger so i encourage you to continue your journey keep reading the bible keep listening to these videos or any other videos that you know here on youtube that work for you i'm excited to see what's to come. I'm not afraid. I know Revelation tends to be a very scary book of the Bible. Um, but with, there's got to be trust. There's got to be faith in order to um, trust that the Lord will be coming back, that he will keep all the promises that he's making, and that at the end, everything is going to be beautiful. Um, there are those people that are have the hearts, hardened hearts, or they don't want to be open about it. Simply pray for them, those that are around you, those that are just against God. Um, I know I have family member that's like that, and all you have to do is pray. Don't don't try to convince them. The Lord can do that on, on his own. Um, he'll know the right time to nudge them, to encourage them, and to open their eyes. So just continue praying for those that are a bit lost. And also pray for the Lord to show you who's the right person, who should you talk to who should you um 
just open up and and share and it could simply be you know like what i did previous right just kind of send messages uh, i had a bunch of people on facebook and i really wasn't communicating with them but and i really didn't know much about them other than where i've met them uh so i ended up uh one while i was reading the proverbs the book of proverbs then uh, the god nudged me really really hard and said you need to pray for those you have so many facebook friends there's a lot of people out there that are in need reach out just reach out a little message and say hey can i pray you know i'm i'm doing a prayer list is there anything that i can pray for you and uh, it's incredible about the amount of people that are are needing that that prayer that are needing that support and are so impressed how the lord has reached them how they, how they finally have peace in their mind and peace in their heart so i encourage you to do that the lord i feel the lord is telling me too to hey you need to do this too don't just talk about it in a video you need to get back into doing that and and i do i do i need to um and it could be just a simple message saying hey i just started a prayer list um is there anything that i can pray for you just let me know i just leave it at that you know there are a lot of people that are more reserved others are like oh my gosh i need you to pray for me i am going through this and that so um so i hope you enjoy this video so awesome being just doing this just reading the bible and um learning as we go learning and what to focus on so thanks again for watching i hope you guys have a great great week and we will see you next time